NBC, who is you know just got done with the Super Bowl and they are doing the Winter Olympics right now, etc. In college football, they have only really been interested in Notre Dame in the past. But new reports from front office sports have come out, and it says NBC Sports is expected to make a major push for the Big Ten Conference's rights. Sources tell front office sports uh, the Big Ten could command fees of up to, check this out, buddy, $1.1 billion annually on the open market, says a source. Uh, or says sources. Uh, NBC views the combination of the Big Ten along with its existing deal with Notre Dame football as the perfect one-two punch. With its $100 million per year deal with the NHL off the books, NBC now has the cash and the ambition to boost its college portfolio. Uh, this is this is very interesting. Obviously, Fox and ESPN have held the Big Ten rights for quite some time, uh, but the Big Ten is doing this maybe the exact right way and the way that it looks like the SEC will be doing things going forward, and that is they're just knocking these things out like every six years. Like, just let the money continue to grow and don't get locked into any, anything uh, that the ACC has done, right? ACC's contracts yeah. are, are done all the way through 2036. Uh, this is a gigantic number, $1.1 billion annually on NBC. And, and brother, they're getting rid of NBC Sports. Like they their standalone channel is being done away with. I'm curious how they're going to make this work. Are they really just going to pay that much money for you know football and basketball? Uh, I don't know the answer to that. I wonder is there any chance that if they got this deal, they could bring back NBC Sport, or they just do it all on the Big Ten Network? Like they would now own the Big Ten Network, and um. And, you know, with a deal like this, and that would be their secondary channel and everything would be on it. It would just be on a lot more channels than it is now. It's it's definitely interesting. We had already heard about CBS being interested in the Big Ten, but with all that we know of the, you know, the deal that CBS had with the SEC, would they really be willing to go in that far uh, to get a deal done if NBC is talking about paying a billion dollars, I mean, that is, or well, not a billion, but, you know, I, I, I'm curious if this is going to be another one of those where Fox and ESPN split the deal, so each didn't have to pay the entire thing, and they just had to draft out which games. Like, it's this yeah. is going to be pretty pretty sizable. Well, uh, CBS is going to get left holding the bag here somewhere, I think, because they have done nothing but take deals that are only in the best interest of CBS. They have had no partnership ideas at all. They have had um, no willingness to give to the SEC or to renegotiate or to allow um, anything other than we want to take 100% of this contract and we're willing to let you leave. Uh, they want to be cheap, okay? Yeah. And and the same thing with the NCAA tournament, you know? They fit Mark. Uh, Emmer over a barrel and they just took him for all he was worth in that and and people say oh great well they have the attorney yeah but they have the attorney on for for, for being compared to what it's worth and uh and at some point in time when the next deal comes up they won't get it they'll lose that and their um foothold in college sports is going to be completely gone uh unless they're willing to be a player somewhere else or somewhere smaller because um, they just don't want to spend the money. So I don't, I'm not worried about CBS and, and what they're doing. They want to be cheap, and they're going to lose all their products because they want to be cheap. Um, I think this is huge for NBC. Uh, it's a big deal. I think it's smart for NBC because I don't know that they were making much money with that hockey deal. They are hemorrhaging money with all of these Olympic deals. Oh, I mean, yes. just hemorrhaging money, especially with this one. And, uh, and so they realize. We need to start going after things that are basically safe, that are guaranteed investments that we know for a fact will hit, will pay off, will make us money. College football is that. And the Big Ten, if you can't have the SEC, the Big Ten is the one you get. Those are the only two conferences. Now, that's not the only two conferences that you would ever want, but those are without question, not even close, the two best. Oh, yes. You're you're not wrong about that. Uh, this is... I mean, again, we're looking at a billion dollars annually. Uh, they would dwarf 
what the SEC is making. I mean, just absolutely dwarf it. The SEC's 10-year, $3 billion deal with Disney uh, starts up in 2024. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's 10 years. So, you know, they are going to make an absolute shit ton of money. Uh, and I'm curious to see how this ends up going. Is Fox going to stay in this? Uh, do they split it between Fox and NBC? You know, who gets it? I'm, I'm so interested in this. So interested in these media rights deals. Uh, let well, me, what this does for NBC, I would say what this does for NBC is it tells them owning the Midwest. I don't know if yes. we already said that or not, but yeah. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.